Let's do the slightly harder example. So this is student data. Yes. It's fine. Uh, this is from a few years ago and just any old example I happen to pick out. There's only 107 students in this particular case and they're divided only into, well, they're male and female and not available. So I'm going to do a comparison of the heights between male and female. Um, this is a slightly more complicated example because if I look at the gender and I do view and get rid of value labels, it still says male and female. So this is an example where the two classes I'm going to compare have their names actually written as the text. So to do the analyze, I'm doing comparing means the independent samples t-tests because men and women are two separate groups. I'm testing on height and I'm going to test on gender as the grouping variable and I need to define the two groups. Now, depending on which way I define the two groups depends on whether I get a negative height difference or a positive height difference. If I put female first and then male second, hopefully I'm going to get a negative difference. No, I'll get a positive difference. That's fine. And I press OK. Hmm. Now I've got a negative difference. Right, 72 women, 34 men in the sample. I could use a one sided test in this particular case because I'm assuming that women are going to be shorter than men. The mean for women is 163, mean for men is 176. The confidence interval for the difference is between 16 centimetres and 9.4 centimetres. You can ignore the signs on the T statistic and the difference because you know which way they're going to be. The P value for the single sided in this case is still less than 0.01. If I go and look at it, it is 3.03 times 10 to the minus 10. That is a very small P value. There is a very clear difference in height between men and women in this sample. Cohen's D and sta uh, standardized is 0 0.07688, whatever it is. What? Oh, that's standardized. I want the point estimate uh, version, not the standardized, which I should have looked at before. <laughs> Between low shore and mid shore. OK, that's better. Uh, I want the point estimate one, not the standardized one, because I was thinking that 1.9 was an extremely big Cohen's uh, D, and it's not that big a difference. So the stand, uh, the one before it's standardized is about one. That's a large Cohen's D, but not a massively enormous one. Whereas in this case, the Cohen's D is nearly two. So that's an enormous difference in between the two groups in terms of uh, Cohen's D. When it's standardized, it becomes this very small number. So I don't know how on earth they do the standardizer. Anyway, confidence interval is always the same sign. The T statistic is large. The P value is very small. That's done. 